Good morning, America. I'm Joan London. And I'm Al Michaels. It's Friday, December 29th, and ahead this morning. fields to tell us what they have learned from the 1980s and what this will mean for all of us in the 1990s. Here is their vision of the future. <laughs> the 80s are going down in American history probably as the age of greed. We were told by our national leadership that every man in pursuing his own self-interest best uh, serves the general interest. Our task of the 90s is a task of national renovation. We need our own homegrown perestroika. We have to make America competitive again in the world. We have to improve our education. We have to save our cities. We have to go through a whole process of national rehabilitation because this is what we've neglected to do for the last 10 years. In the 1980s, we talked a lot about Japanese competition with the formation of the common market and the possible integration of Eastern Europe into that common market in the 1990s, we'll talk about European competition. And if the Cold War really winds down, then we've had a lot of influence in the world because we were a military superpower, and that influence will be less because being a military superpower will be less important because the, the military issues won't, won't be front and center. Each year, the forests are getting smaller, the deserts are getting larger, the topsoil layer is getting thinner on much of our cropland. The ozone layer is being depleted in the upper atmosphere. The uh, greenhouse gases are, are, are building. The um, uh, number of plant and animal species on Earth is diminishing. Any one of these trends, if it continues indefinitely, could undermine civilization as we know it. In 50 years, it's, it's certainly possible that all genetic diseases could be eliminated or treated uh, very effectively. In developed countries, the golden age of medicine is at hand. Advances in science, abundant technology, adequate human and fiscal resources, and the ascendancy of medical ethics should assure that golden age. Our biggest problems are the containing of costs and assuring access to basic medical care for all of our people. One of the major fantasies of the 1980s was that you can have it all if you do it all. And I think the reality of the late 1980s shows that you can't and that people are going to have to make trade-offs. We hope that we're going to see society and families begin to pay attention to each other. They're going to have to because the number of elderly is increasing, the plight of children is increasing. So if we're going to survive, <laughs> we're going to have to pay attention to that. And that is the news till the top of the hour and well beyond. Here's Alan Dallas. 1980s are going out with a roar, but there have been many powerful moments throughout, as John Martin reports. The planes bearing our prisoners left Iranian airspace. It began with Americans gaining their freedom from a foreign land. It is ending with East Europeans gaining their freedom at home. Across the world, after decades of struggle, some were tasting the first fruits of political change. Some found it sweet. Some found it bitter and deadly. <laughs> Leaders were not immune from violence. Still, there were signs of peace and forgiveness, the departure of troops and tyrants. One leader created change and seemed to flourish from it. Two who tried too long to dictate fled from their enemies but could not hide. Nikolai Ceausescu and his wife Elena were executed. At times, war, declared or undeclared, flourished. Millions died. Do you have any message for your family? Some symbols got new salutes. Some traditions Prince, were born. Classic MTV. New games arose. The pursuit of trivia. The pursuit of dots. The pursuit of love shared the stage with the technology of the heart. The technology of space travel expanded but faced calamity. Challenger, go and throttle up. Still, the voyage continued for spacecraft 
and comets. This is the worst sighting in 2,000 years. Old dilemmas remained. To rescue a child, to rear a child, to find a child. Planes fell. There's been a major air crash in the Midwest, and there have been at least one. Lava exploded. The earth quaked. Please leave the area immediately. The winds blew. Forests burned. Oil spilled. We've just ruined one of the jewels of the United States, if not the world. Nuclear engineers and chemists made mistakes. Tens of thousands suffered. Without rain, food vanished. Millions suffered. We are Across the world, millions learned of a new enemy and set about helping and remembering. Roger Harvey Some use chemicals to poison others, some to poison themselves. Crime exploded. Fear grew so great that in New York, a lone man fought back and broke the law. Hope had revived for peace at the end of the Cold War, for prosperity after the stock market plunged. Spirits plunged with the banning of some of the sports world's greatest heroes. But spirits also soared, the flight of a gymnast, the victory of an underdog. This impossible dream comes true! By decade's end, there were still many wars underway, but the Earth seemed capable of coming out on top. A brighter future, perhaps, an improbable prospect from an incredible decade. John Martin, ABC News, Washington. And that's the world of the...